using label conditions in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.414.1. Attached to this controller, I have three different agents. Let's take a look at the configuration for these agents. Agent 1, I actually have two labels, Linux and x86. For agent number 2, I have two labels, ARM and macOS. And finally, for agent 3, I have Linux and ARM v7. Now let's go take a look at the documentation for how to use label conditions. So if we take a look under parameters here, we'll see label, and then we'll see a second paragraph. Label conditions can also be used when we're specifying labels. For example, I can say agent label and give it two different labels with an and, or I can say label and label or. So let's go exercise this. Each of the agents have multiple labels Let's figure out how to make sure that the job runs where we actually want the job to run using the label conditions. So let's go ahead and go over to our controller. Let's go create a new job. We'll call this job conditions. Click on pipeline and click OK. So in this case, we'll just select the hello world example and we're going to change agent any to label and let's target agent three. So that was Linux and ARM v7. Before we run the job, let's go ahead and create a step to where we sleep for five seconds, and then we echo out hello. And then let's click on save and click on build now. Now, if we go back to the dashboard, what we're going to see is the job has been scheduled and it's actually running on agent three, which is what we expected. In fact, if we go ahead and go back into the job, take a look at the output, we'll see that the job ran on agent three. Now let's do this a little bit differently. Let's go back into conditions, click on configure, and instead of saying and, I'm going to say it doesn't really matter, just give me Linux or ARM v7. So we'll change the AND to an OR and click on Save. And let's go ahead and click on Build Now and go back to the dashboard and see where we end up at. Now again, here we ended back up on Agent 3, but we could have easily just as ended up on Agent 1 because with Agent 1, we also have a Linux agent. So if I wanted to change this, Let's go ahead and go back into the job. We'll click on conditions. I'm going to modify it. Instead of using ARMv7, I'm going to say Linux or x86. So I have a 50-50 chance of ending up on agent 1 or on agent 3. Let's click on save. Click build now. If we take a look at the output of 3, it picked agent 3. And again, the job ran as we expected. But what if we mess up our labels? Let's modify the job and do that specific thing. So we're going to change from Linux to Mac OS. Now, if you remember, Mac OS also had a label of ARM. But in this case, I'm going to change the OR to an AND because I know I don't have a Mac OS with x86. So when I click on Save and click on Build Now, when Job 4 starts up, it's going to just do that. It's just going to start. And it's actually never going to finish because no agents have the label combination of Mac OS and x86. And we can see that here represented with this message. There are no nodes with the label Mac OS and x86. So at this point, I just need to go and terminate the job. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on the subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBeast TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.